Morning. The following video contains strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're not supposed to be watching videos with bad words, please don't watch this one. Thank you. And what is up guys, Mn here and I am back with some more StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty for our Legacy of the Void countdown. And when we last left off, we were kicking the credit of the Tolerim on Belshir trying to get some Terrazine gas for Tosh um, who basically is revealed to be a Spectre which is supposed to be the next gen ghosts something that I hope we actually get to see in Legacy of the Void but anyway um, next we're gonna go to Zill and help Tychus out with um, getting a Zill not getting the next Zill artif um, Naga artifact Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead world called Zill. Apparently they sent in a specialist team, but they lost contact with them two days ago. They're bad luck, I guess. Figure we'll get hazard pay for this one. Oh, take us trying to swindle them out of their money. So here's the deal. This place is a morgue. Whatever used to live in these ruins up and died millions of years ago. Before they went missing, the Mobius team reported artifact radiation emanating from that big old hunk of rock over yonder. They brought a big damn laser drill to burn the way in. Laser yeah. drill? That thing's a monster. Hello. If the Mobius team had access to that kind of hardware, Think about what could have wiped him out. Reckon we'll find out soon enough, partner. Whatever it is, they didn't defend their base well enough. They need to construct additional bunkers. Because we have no problem with this. Like, one thing I might actually do, since it is on casual, after I get the relics, um... I'm probably gonna try to attack the Brodos, the Tower of the Rain bases, mostly because it, I think, I wanna see if, uh, what happens when I hit them pretty hard with those. Watch your corners, boys. We don't know who cleaned this place out. You gonna give me orders? More terrible. The mysteries of this place are forbidden. You will pay for your transgressions with your life. Hold up there. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. Swan, you promised me siege tanks. Where are they? Hey, you promised me siege tanks. Settle down, Hotshot. They're coming. These babies will knock those cannons down from a nice, safe distance. There you go. Alright, boys, move in. Back to the team. New siege tanks work just like the old ones. When you put them in siege mode, they get increased range and firepower. They can't move in siege mode, so if you need to reposition them, just switch them back into tank mode. You got it? Let's get some siege tanks deployed on the high ground. They can pound that Protoss stalker before it even gets close to us. Dead. Oh. Oops. I forgot there was another one. It's been a while since I played this. That's fine. Sure I don't play this is not one of the missions I play a lot. Why not? Yes, sir. Mobius base local net accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Transferring control of base structures to you, Commander. Thanks. Oh yeah, we just take their stuff. They weren't using it anyway. Fired up. 174 gigawatts. The power of the sun at your fingertips. Fire! Now get it aimed at that door and let's get cutting. It's beautiful. Laser output is good. Drilling will take some time, but there's no other way into the temple. It's Sir, the Taldarim are mobilizing their forces against us. Okay. I really don't care. I'll kill them. So we set a perimeter and protect the drill until we're through. 
There we Just go. Just glad we've got siege tanks. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy and I are in agreement. and siege tanks defending that laser drill. I we know. got no chance of claiming the artifact without it. Hold, on, hold your horses, Jimmy. Yes. Okay. Tear them now. By the numbers, boy. Go ahead. SCV ready. Now I can show you what those upgrades did. The upgrade, one of the upgrades allows you the FEDs to repair stuff faster, but another allows them to actually build together. Sir, I've managed to access what's left of the Mobius Expedition sensor net. I'll route it through your map so you can see what the Taldarim are up to. Thank you. SCV ready! He ain't walking away from that one. Yeah. That, 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 mm. Yeah. SCV ready! Not enough minerals. Give me more minerals. SCV ready! Don't make me crap the, don't make me crap the whip, guys. Oh, duck your overtime pay. Not enough minerals. I got my eyes open because it's not like it. I told you, only 30 minutes for lunch and that's before you deploy. Go, go, go! Keep your shirt on, Sparky. You're not gonna do nothing, I don't get what you're doing. Who wants some? They act like they're gonna do something. SCV ready. Got it. Ooh. Yeah, you guys ain't gonna do nothing, I don't get to what I don't see why you're trying. Quit trying, it's not working. Big job, huh? Go Wait a minute, let me use the building deep there. SCV ready! Bandit, huh? Let's go, huh? SCV ready! Roger! Go on. What's going on? SCV ready! Nice. Yeah. Shall we? Yes, sir. Three things up, boys. Close, our men won't stand a chance. Dead. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. Dead. See if you can use it against the Protoss. All right, you heard the man. Swing that laser around. We Buzz. can use it to drive back the Protoss. 
Bugger off. In the rear with the gear. We hear you. Ah! You scared me! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Back out. Okay. I wonder if I can mess with the add on. Nope, can't mess with the add on. Yep. Complete. I don't like how they put these. The laser drill has breached the door's outer layer. Good enough. More this is more tank. Get this going. Bad news. Okay, let's put the Alert. Enemy air units on approach vector. Damn it. Air units, nothing. Those are transports. Use the laser to knock them down fast. Yeah, those ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, those ain't getting anywhere, anywhere past know. their Complete. missile turrets. That's just not gonna happen. Armor up. You guys can help, you know. You don't have to have all the fun. Not enough minerals. Yeah. Hurry up. Not enough minerals. Faster. Sir, I'm picking up the energy signatures of several Protoss relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Well, if there's time, we can blast them free with a laser drill. I bet Stedman would love to study them. Swing that drill around. Oh, took my vision away. I gotta hey, mine that. Sucker. It's about to get heavy. Yeah, these guys ain't making it past Ooh! Sucks when you can't even make it to the bunkers! Ouch! I need more Goliath, baby. I need more Goliath, I need more Goliath, I need more Goliath. Not enough minerals. Hurry up, you morons! Not enough minerals. Hurry up, you idiots. Go, go, go! Not enough minerals. There we go. Okay, I'm fine with you. This better be good. Yes, sir. Ah! It's here, man! It's go time! Armed and ready. Move it! Go ahead. That body to please. Will do. Oh. Um, yeah, might want to make sure take those two out. And then. Goliath online. Goliath online. They've 
The laser drill is now cutting That's through fine. the door's thermal barrier. Orders received. Mm. Mineral field depleted. Buzz. Can we can we open these up to you, please? Move your guys up. Gangway, coming through. Oh, sure thing. We have to do this one at a time, don't we? Go ahead, We're vandalizing. But it's okay because it's all the in there. It's religious fanatics. It's good to vandalize those people. They're religious extremists. I don't feel sorry for them. I could take this area as an expansion here. But I'm too lazy. Sir, more air units inbound. We gotta take them out. They don't keep dropping troops right on top of them. You guys really think we're gonna let you go through here? That's fine. Yes, sir. I'm gonna hit put the laser deal on zero. It looks like it's going right through these guys. It's like, <laughs> I'm okay! I'm okay! You got it. My arm just been lasered up, but I'm okay! We'll do. Back off, you losers. I like you. Boom, baby. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Run away, run away. Oh, you died. I said run away. Run away. Run away. Ow. I'll have a bigger force than last time. It will come back bigger, stronger. Go ahead. Stay in the rear with the gear. I'll do better. I'll build a better army. Roger. I'm going. Who wants some? It's about to get heavy. Go on, online. Feel it. Feel it. Bad news. Let me put some supplies in there. Uh huh. Oh, it's on. Go ahead. Oh, it's on. There we go. Goliath, all the This better be good. Thermal barrier breached. The laser drill is now cutting through the core. 
They seek to befoul the legacy of the gods. Destroy them. Yeah, you ain't gonna do that. You can try. That's a negatory. Let's have a blast. Back off, you losers. You backed yourself in the corner, didn't you? Scared me. Idiot. Yo. Yeah, whatever. This is what M Corp's finest does with their booze money. Actually, no, that's how you know that some of the M Corp's finest have too much booze money. We're gonna make our move, we better make it here soon. Go ahead, Please state the nature of your medical emergency. The doctor is in. Back off. You act like that was a problem. Okay. I want to at least try to hit this base as hard as I can. Attack! Battle cry! Roar! Hey guys! There's another wave of air units heading your way. No, they're not. These guys just won't give up. Stick it to them, boys. Destroy everything! Destroy all the things! Why is that one underpowered? Mm. You just don't everything. <laughs> Are these bases connected? Or do you say they're connected? Oh, we're gonna clear out the top half of the map. That's gonna be... I think we only left one unit. Oh, baby! This is awesome! Ah, that's awesome! It's sad when I can do this. You know a level too easy when a player can sit there and do something that it wasn't they weren't intended to do. Because usually it's, you know, if if Blizzard thought we wouldn't be able to have the time to do this at our current difficulty, they wouldn't they wouldn't have put this here. They wouldn't have put it like this. They would have made it to where we couldn't access this part of the map. Because there are actually little parts of the map in in the game where in um, at least in the final That's part of the fine. game um, where you're playing as um, the Protoss, sure. the little mini Protoss campaign during the Liberty. Now, snipers. Let's push up the let's push up the ramp to be a little bit of a problem. Let's <laughs> go destroy those things with this. 
Get ready, pilot. This is bad. This is what Why happens when you give me an easy holdout position. Sure. Yes, sir. The protests have been eliminated from the map. That's fine. Ouch. Affirmative. You got it. That shows how far above casual I am if I'm gonna sit there and just straight up wipe the protoss out. You lit oh. Aldarim just can't stand up to our firepower. They're in full retreat. Oh, really? Well done, sir. Really? Oh, nice. You have prevailed <laughs> for now. <laughs> Word of this sacrilege will echo across the stars, James Raynor. The Day of Reckoning. Oh, I found a quicker way to beat this now. That's awesome. What do we care? As long as the pay is good. <laughs> really? I'd say getting vaporized by the Tal Dream definitely counts as diminishing returns. We didn't really get vaporized. We, we, Jimmy, we raped them. It, it was, it was, it, that, that was bad. Considering the fact that they had an alternate secret victory condition that we met, that was bad. Sure, we lost a few good lives in the process, but. Then I'll be writing letters and apologies to their families, but but we did it. We embarrassed them. We not only we not only took a dump in the yard, but we gave them a swift kick to the groin, and then when they were down, we basically beat them while they were down. Okay, that's what we did. We are ruthless. We are wieners. I didn't know that that victory condition was there. I thought it was just going to be, okay, now we just got to sit and wait for the thing to, to mine through. And, I'd, and it'd just be a, us just sitting there watching it mine. But no. <laughs> we actually destroyed all the Protoss bases before that. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder who all were in grits, because apparent because Tychus apparently has the same dang thing as this. He Tychus has the same grits tattoo as Rainer does. So it's so the R and T is. I bring tidings of doom. Zeratul. I have pierced the veil of the future. And beheld only oblivion. Yet one spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. That there is a Protoss Eon Crystal. I've heard of these Eon Crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But for Zara Tools uncovered, he was desperate for me to see it too. Well, I go 
was nothing. Um. Okay, just before um, anything goes on, the Eon Crystal, um, it's Protoss artifact that allows that Protoss and, or anybody can store their memories into and basically give to another person to relive them. Um, in the world of import, I, um, as to, um, the incorporation is actually with the Protoss, with help of the Protoss, um, we've helped establish interdimensional travel as well as time travel moving back and forward in time, backward and forward in time. My future self uses Eon Crystals um, when he comes back. There's something that's really, really bad that's happened that could possibly end life as we all know it. He basically come. my future self comes back, gives me those Eon Crystals, I relive the memories and I do what I can to prevent that outcome. I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. But I wouldn't mess with it if I were you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than any of the experts I've read about. <laughs> well, when you mess with them first, and yeah, you, you, they kind of get a little scary. Holding these artifacts is making me nervous. Can you tell me any more about them? It's interesting. The one from Zill is different than the others. However, I think all of them once constituted a single device. You mean they make something bigger? It would seem so. It's just a theory, but there's an attraction between the artifacts we've collected. A kind of harmonic resonance. Given the points of contiguous translinear alignment, I think they'd be drawn together like magnets under the right field adjustment. Okay. Well, don't adjust anything just yet, Doc. I like them aligned just the way they are. <laughs> All messed up and out of order. <laughs> you don't want to put the puzzle together, Jimmy? Come on, the puzzle's fine. All right. Step my log entry two two o four. This is the first one for the artifact. With every milestone you get in research, these are both the Protoss, um, the Protoss crystal and the Zerg organism. They will both change and get bigger and better. Um, and he and Stepman will have logs on both through each milestone through each of our research milestones. The Protoss crystal continues to grow. I no longer think it's, it is drawing power from the ship. It's getting pure energy from that sphere above it, which presents a new worry. What's it doing with all that power? Is it going to release it, release it explosively? I'll have to keep Swan away from the, sam from the sample. You will damn shoot out the airlock with me strapped to it. I tried I tried scraping smaller samples, but all my tools broke. Luckily, I found some cast-off chips floating in the tank. I wonder how they came off. In any case, the chips revealed more th more the matrix. It's keeping the energy there in a vortex. How does it move the energy so fast? It may be f it may be the fable Protoss warp technology. All oh, its complexity. The matrix is as solid and has the strongest structure. Hmm. I wonder if I could apply these dynam dynamics to our own structures. Make a note. I'm learning so much from this crystal that I can't help but I can't help feeling as if it's learning from me. If it makes it, it that makes sense. Tired, late, tired, sleep now. <laughs> So basically this Protoss crystal, after learning enough from it at the final minor milestone, um, it basically later on when I read it, when I read it at the final milestone, you'll understand, but as through this the M Corporation actually is able to integrate pylon technology into its units and into a good majority of its mechanical units and structures. 
uh, basically one of these smaller crystals. I believe this is more of like an un these are unformed pylon crystals, unutilized pylon crystals. And with it, we basically you start to create pylon power, pylon reactors, everything like that, all resonating around Protoss, pyl uh, Protoss pylons. But they are the smaller crystals in this more untamed state like this. Um, and they are smaller versions because they are still able to draw and create a lot of power. So, at, to an extent, I, we use them to power a lot of our stuff. And all it takes is probably about a crystal this size to power basically a Goliath. Alrighty, um, fire is on no, I don't want my computer. I'm gonna do four build depots, because it basically allows you to build supply depots instantly. So we're not supply blocks as fat as long. Oh, I skipped the canteen entirely. So now we've got three of these artifacts on my ship. When are we supposed to hand these damn things over? They got their hands full right now. The Zerg are about to invade Tirador, where Mobius' main research center is. I don't reckon we'll hear anything from them until they relocate somewhere safe. Wonderful. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion. The battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Technically, they could be watching with Zerg parasites and all. Um, I don't know if they got if Kerrigan got rid of that one. She got rid of the queen. Uh, basically, raided the queens because Kerrigan actually created that change between the Starcraft One queen that we know that we knew back in. In Starcraft 1 and Brewbore, and then the queens that we see in Starcraft 2. Um, she actually cast out the old queen strain. I don't know if it's if um, another character that we'll meet in, in part of the swarm, if Avatar still has it, that it's not being utilized by the swarm. It's that new queen strain that's being utilized, and it's more of, and the queen is now more of a support unit than a flying caster like it used to be. Had any visitors lately? I don't know what you're talking about, Tosh. Oh, I think you do, James Rayner. Something was on this ship just now. I still smell it on you. Portos. Interesting. Whatever you think you know, you just keep it to yourself. I hear you yapping about this, and I'll toss you out the airlock. Ooh, getting big all tough there, Jimmy. We're rocking some serious heavy metal now that we got siege tanks. Yes, sir. The comforting thunder of the big guns. Well, comforting when they're on our side. Yeah, these newer tanks have better guns when they're on the move. And reinforced armor. So long as they still got the range in siege mode, the rest is just gravy. Between siege tanks and bunkers, we can hold the line against just about anything. I'll go ahead and do the bio on the siege tanks too. Okay, quit showing off. Really? Are you done? Dead. Knock it off. Whoosh. 
Armed with twin 90mm cannons, the Crucio was is an expensive upgrade to the original Arc Light Siege Tank. I like the original. The 180mm Siege Mode Shot Cannon shatters together superheated Tudson in a 50% larger area. Dominion Infantry Soldiers are universally convinced that, the, that Crucio Operators inflict more damage on friendly forces than on the enemy. Consequently, Crucio Operators stick together during during shore leave. One of Slavin's an early Crucio Operator installed a sophisticated surround sound system into his ride. Sergeant Slavin was subsequently cut off and surrendered him. He failed to hear the order fall back. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just gonna say that right now. That's funny. Okay, so Maelstrom rounds each tank deals 40 plus damage to primary target. Splash damage remains the same. And Shape Blast. Shock Cannon does 75% less damage to friendly units. Shape blast, but I don't really want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that with that group there. How about that? You ain't gonna believe this, but I just saw Zeratul on the ship. Uh how much did you have to drink tonight, sir? <laughs> he was here, Matt. And he was hurt. On the run from something. Where is he now, sir? I don't know. But he ain't on the ship anymore. He gave me an Eon memory crystal, and he was desperate for me to study it. I guess he wants me to see what he's seen. <laughs> I love that, though. It's, it's one of those, Hey, I just saw one of our long-lost friends on the ship. That's Matt's first response. How much have you had to drink? How much you've been drinking? <laughs> Raider's response was close to that of "Shut up!" I don't drink that much. <laughs> so anyway, um, next time we're gonna be going to Dead Man's Port because there's Haven. I'm gonna try to save Haven until after I've done what I've needed to do following the dead men's port side of things um, I might even do um, the Eon Crystal before I go to Haven just to get my get me as researched up as possible because the Protoss um, the Protoss missions do yield a lot of research for you and yeah it will not only grow these two faster but we'll get more goodies. I'm just going to show you what we have next. The automated refineries. I'm getting the automated refineries because, as it shows, you don't have to have any um, SCVs to harvest the Vespian anymore. I'm going to be getting the Hercules craft next for the uh, on the Zerg side of things. Look how fast they unload them. And it holds a whole lot of stuff, stuff. And then for the next one, I think I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna actually do the regenerative bio steel because I like the ability for vehicles to regen life. And then definitely gonna hit the, get the Zerk, the hive mind emulator. I could do the side disruptor, but I think the emulator is a lot better because 
I should take control of Zerg units. What more could you ask for? And then for the Protoss sector, for the Protoss side of things, getting the automated refinery, science vessel, and then the tech reactor. Now I could always do the drop pod, but I like the tech reactor because you can get units out faster. Um, I mean, with the drop pods, you can probably drop them wherever you need to on the map. But that's the whole. The only problem is, is you're only doing like with the drop pods. You've got the problem of, well, you can drop them in a spot, but it'll only be the units that you recently built. So yeah, and the tech reactor can work for both the factory and the barracks. So I'd rather have that. So anyway, I'm gonna play the Dead Man's Port again. We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Merc Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. So that's where we'll head off next time. Anyways, guys, if you like what you saw, why not hit the like button? It really helps me out a lot, and if you liked it even more, why not hit the subscribe? Just so you can keep track of whenever this um, the next videos come out. Anyways, guys, I'm Man, and I will see you all later. Bye.